I'm the Gaming Beaver and I'll be your host for today's video in which we will be unboxing the dinosaur that's on everybody's wish list and lips because of the new movie and that is Indominus Rex. Jurassic World is showcasing an all new movie, all new possibly franchise and it's starting off with its own Spinosaurus just like Jurassic Park 3 did, the Indominus and here it is. It's big, it's bad and it's very grey. But not only that, we've got something else planned. How about unboxing the T-Rex too? Ooh, that's right, I just said that. So, um, both of these guys are the big versions of the dinosaurs you can get. Uh, Price-wise, the T-Rex is about $19.99 and the, T the Indominus Rex sells for $39.99. Um, so you could buy two T-Rexes for the price of one Indominus Rex. But from the looks of it, Indominus Rex is way, way, way more impressive. He also takes batteries, he lights up, and he has a cool action feature which you can activate even in the box. So you can see it before you've bought it if you want it. That looks awesome. Do you want to see the T-Rexes? But if we really want to see what they're like, we're gonna have to take them out of their boxes. It's got a butty! Uh, I have to say, the um, the T-Rex looks, um, it pales in comparison to the Indominus Rex. So much so, I'm gonna leave that to the side right now. We're gonna focus on the Indominus Rex. So, with batteries added, it makes this noise. And it glows red. I have no idea why I haven't seen the movie yet, but that is a lovely, lovely welcome feature. It's a shame, this leg seems a little bit loose. It's very, very floppy. Um, like the joint feels a bit worn. Uh, I don't know if that's just mine. I mean, I got it new, so it shouldn't be. Uh, the other leg is a bit stiff. You can hear that, doesn't that? Move the other leg. This leg's had oil. Okay. So the eye is amazing, the eye looks great. Lovely, lovely close up. We have a base red color, the black for the iris, a white for the little uh, glow or shine in the eye, and also a second color, a second red, just to really make it pop. The teeth are rubber in fact, very rubbery teeth, if I can just sort of poke them about. They're very, very floppy and bendy. Uh, the mouth inside is textured on above. It's got a little sort of uh, rib ribbing there. <laughs> It's uh, it's bottom has a nice tongue. I will say I am disappointed with the paintwork on the face I don't know if it shows too well in this sort of light But there is a black brush you can see it just here and it has been ran down the entire model It is just literally it runs it runs down the face. It It's horrible um, but I think somebody posted like they did their own paintwork on an, an, on an Indominus and <laughs> it looked quite good. I will say because of the action feature, you cannot move the jaws. I mean the, the uh, arms, they are stuck the way they are. Um, a great way to do it is sort of just like a gun, hold it like that and just ah, ah. Uh, when, With you bending the claws a lot on the arms, they are, they are very bendy. They're slightly bendy, uh, which sort of worries me slightly because I mean it is solid plastic don't get me wrong but because it's so thin I feel like with kids playing with it a lot there's a chance that those fingers could snap off or bend in some sort of way the head is all rubber there is a nice little electronic thing underneath it um, we have some screw holes the screw holes aren't too bad again because it's a bigger model it doesn't really stand apart from the rest underneath we have the little voice box and where you uh, plug in the batteries. You can just easy screw them. You will need a screwdriver if you're planning on buying this or else you're not gonna be able to get the batteries in. And all in all, I am pretty impressed. It is 40 quid. It is the most expensive right now of the, uh, of the big models and for good right to. I can't imagine them doing anything bigger. This is their, this is their Tyrannosaurus. So I'm gonna place them here. I'm just gonna leave them there and you can be in the rest of the video. Now, moving on to the T-Rex. This thing is all solid plastic everywhere. It is all horrible, horrible, naffy, naffy plastic. Uh, the biting 
is really, really weird. Um, depending on the which way you hold it, is which way the jaw goes. If you hold it upside down, I know it does, it does work, but for some other reason, depending on which way you tilt it, um, the jaw might not close all the way, and it is a feeble, an absolutely feeble sounding thing. But I, I can keep that. Nothing, nothing's gonna stay in this jaw. I can keep it closed, just placing my finger there. Not even pushing. It's, it's, it's not even pushing my finger. Nothing. I, you know what? I'm gonna put in. This is, this is the little action figure that came with one of the previous sets that I've opened. I'm gonna put him in here. Look at that. He is light as a feather, and he keeps the jaw open. That's bloomin' disgusting. Uh, for some odd reason, on his nose, he has had it, like, surgically attached. I don't know why. There's, like, all the way around, there is a cut round the nose. I, I have no idea why they've done this. No idea why they've done this. Uh, the there was some pictures of an electronic T-Rex early on that showed it with batteries. It had a growl set, just like Indominus. But for some odd reason, Maybe it's not out yet. Maybe this is just a different uh, toy completely. But if it is the same toy, they've decided to completely scrap and not have another 40 quid dinosaur, thinking that maybe people wouldn't buy it. And if they're gonna buy or spend all their money on a good dinosaur, they're gonna go with Indominus and not the T-Rex. So, but I don't know where that is. And because this is a T-Rex, I'm gonna diggity don compare it to a good T-Rex toy. This right here is my childhood. This I've had for years, ever since I was a kid. I got it on Christmas day. I took it to every toy day I've had in school. And Dominus, sit down. This is where it's at. This is my toy for some reason. And somehow I've kept that eye in completely good nick. Why you might ask? Am I showing you that? Because look at the other eye. <laughs> somehow that's broken. This Thrasher T-Rex is like by far one of my favorite T-Rex toys. If you push the jaw up and then release, click the tongue, it, it used to chomp down. And I remember being a kid and it chomping down and people being like, ah, that hurt. Like kids, it, like back in the day when the mechanism was fresh, this was a blooming good toy. It has lovely, absolutely lovely in detailed paintwork along the body. You can almost see a rib cage. It does have solid arm arms, a nice sort of airbrush underneath. Now, bear in mind this is aged. This is a very aged toy with lots of wear and tear. So much so, I managed to clip one of the toes. I don't even know how I managed to do that. A toenail, a solid bit of plastic is clipped off. I wonder where that is now. Oh, And like, look at that. I don't even know how that happened. It got blue on it. I was absolutely devastated, but I think that happened within the last couple of years when it was just in my attic knocking about. Um, so as a kid, I never had that. And I've even worn off paintwork on the tail. Now, what is awesome, it has like a thrasher. Obviously, it's called a thrasher. And you can just sort of shake. You can put this little man. Oh, let's see if this T-Rex can attack the little man. So we have the jaws open there. I'm going to put the man in there. Will it close if I press the tongue? Or will it stay open? Yep, yep. There's no way it's getting out there. And you can sort of hold it, thrash it about, just like the scenes in the first movie. And it's not getting out. Blah. Comparing it to this T-Rex, there is no comparison. Let's just get the man out of there. Give it. Good girl. Look at this. Look, I mean, just look. We've got a lovely sort of, you've got nice details in the rubber. You've got lovely like hips, hip bones, ribs, cool arms. And I mean, look at the arms in comparison. Sorry, just look at the arms. It's, I don't know, for Jurassic World, for some odd reason, they went for a very, very cartoony sort of look. And this T-Rex also has the uh, the same sort of feet as the Raptors, and I swear to God, that's probably no coincidence. It, they could, when they were making it on a computer, they probably just took that bit of the model, placed it on the T-Rex, or placed it on the Raptors to save time and money. And it really, really shows, because at the time, I bet this cost just a little bit more, or probably the same price as the Indominus. And this has so much, so much more re replayability. I I was absolutely, look at the, look at that. Look, that, I'm, not, I'm not clicking it. Its jaw is just open. It hasn't shut. I clicked it, shut? Nah, doesn't even shut when it's done like that. If it's sort of hanging downwards, it does. You can feel it, but that's only because of gravity. That's not because of its like system. 
Okay, okay, you might be thinking, ah, that was just one T-Rex. Let's try another. This is the bull T-Rex. This is a T-Rex I did not have as a kid growing up. I don't even think it was released in England. I'm not too sure. I'm just gonna move the thrasher over here. There you go, Batty. You can have a Batty. So this T-Rex um, has, mu actually, I'm not gonna click it because its battery is worn out so much so that it will just go <laughs> for ages and never turn off. But this is a big, probably the biggest toy, uh, Jurassic Park or dinosaur toy. Like Jurassic Park toy, yeah, definitely. That's like existed. And I think it beats Indominus. Again, we don't, th these toys don't have a problem. They do not have a problem having long tails. For some odd reason, these ones do. No, Thrasher! For some odd reason, these toys have a real big problem. The Raptors have tiny tails, the Indominus has a tiny tail. The T-Rex has a tiny tail. I mean, you compare it, look at that. Look at the distance. I mean, bear in mind, it's scaled down, but nah. It, do it just doesn't compare. This guy can swallow figures whole. Whole, I'm not even kidding. All the way down there, that's hollow, and you can pull it out at the bottom there. The bull T-Rex does lack a bit. I can't think of the word. Basically, it's kind of rigid. You can't move the legs. Again, it's mostly this lovely rubber, rubber sort of squishy stuff. Um, but the legs are solid. These legs are solid. And I bought this on eBay uh, years ago. And obviously somebody had it on a windowsill because this side is really, really bleached. And the other side is really, really dark. So one or the other, I think this one was facing the windowsill. So obviously a kid had it uh, facing on the windowsill, even though it's at a really weird sort of angle. And during packaging, like all of them you'll find have a kink in the tail just to fit in the box. That's something I will give them praise for. They have made the tail detachable so they can make the packaging smaller. And um, you know, you can, you can pull off the tail if you want and maybe there you go, it lost its tail. It's like a regular day chameleon. <laughs> Hold on, let's do a size comparison. There you go. Oh God, so there you go. That is ab they are absolutely the same length there. And the, 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 the Jurassic World T-Rex doesn't even get up to its legs. And we've got another portion onto it. The, the bull T-Rex has lovely eyes, they are marble. These things you will not like. I don't care if you fall over, you're rubbish. So these have marble eyes. Again, like the Thrasher, you won't like scratch off paintwork, which is great. I, I feel like I'm selling this one now, but no. So in conclusion, if you're going to spend money on a big dinosaur, don't spend it on that. Spend it on the Indominus. And I am a fan of the T-Rex, and I cannot wait to see the T-Rex in, um, in action in the movie and I swear to God it's gonna be amazing. He's gonna kill, she's gonna kill the T-Rex somehow. But if this is how the battle is gonna look, I sort of want Indominus to win. It's definitely going, look at that. It's definitely going to win the uh, the battle in the market. It's gonna win the battle in Toys R Us. General Money, who's gonna make the most. Look at that, oh, Indominus just took it out there. Jesus. But I hold this, I hold this in much higher regard than the T-Rex. It would have been absolutely lovely to have spent like an extra 20 pound on a T-Rex that was rubbery like this, got a lovely action, sound effect, lights, something else, but we didn't. In the end, we get a cheapy plastic, costs half the price sort of dinosaur and unfortunately, if you ask me, right, would you rather have one Indominus or two T-Rexes? I'd have to go with Indominus. So if you liked this video, leave a like, and until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.